Big warning. Bitcoin, do not get involved. One of the biggest bankers in the world says Bitcoin, do not get involved. In today's video, we're going to break that down at a very deep level, and we're going to do our own analysis on why we think they're saying that. Why are they saying Bitcoin, don't get involved? And I'm going to give you my perspective from being an ex-banker for 12 years and going to CBA Executive Banking School and the understanding, not understanding, deep understanding of how the banking system works. It's just my opinion. I wouldn't take this as financial advice, but we all have to use discernment. We have to study history at a very deep level to be able to predict the patterns. My name is Coach JV. What I work to do is make very complex macro and microeconomic strategies very simple so the normal everyday person <clears throat> excuse me, can implement them. What we have done for you guys, I've, I've made a huge announcement. We actually have teamed up with Ed Milet, the number one motivational speaker in the world who's been in financial services for t over 20 years now. My team and I have teamed up with Ed Milet to help a million people by 20 25. You can set up a free consultation with my index universal life team tax code 7702. We teach you the infinity banking concept. It's in the description of my video here on YouTube or in my social media platform. You can set up an absolutely free consultation with my insurance team. We are teaming up with Ed Milet to help a million people by 20 25. We're done. We're retired of this just over broke system. If you want to join my insurance team as well, click the link down below. We'll train you. We'll help you. And we'll get you up and running. You can also download my 16 page absolutely free guide that shows you exactly how I do this. And on the back end of every video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how my system is set up. All right. So let's dive right in. So this is where you got to, you got to buckle down guys. You got to really, really buckle down and build emotional intelligence in these markets. Because one minute, they're going to tell you crypto is the best thing since sliced bread. One minute, they're going to tell you that it's used for money laundering. One minute, they're going to tell you it's used for fentanyl. This is all about moving their agenda forward. Let me say that one more time. This is all about moving their agenda forward. Guys, the monetary system is destroyed in America. 120% debt to income ratio. They have to borrow to pay for critical services. I keep repeating the same things. I need this to get deep into your brain to understand that our system is broken. So there is a new system coming in, but not only from the physical sense, but a quantum sense. The change starts January 20th, guys. There's a shift this Saturday in the quantum field that is going to change everything. And it matches up perfectly with blockchain technology coming in. Web 2.0 to Web 3.0, industrial, the technical. And if you're in the academy, be on the 10 o'clock call. I have my Ascension coach coming to present to you guys exactly what's happening. Family, there is a transition happening. You're not going to stop it. Okay. You can fight this invisible enemy all day. You can argue all day. You can try to expose darkness all day. But until you realize that the darkness and the light is inside of you, you are going to fight an invisible enemy. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to save you. The Jesus Christ that I follow and I know said, I'm already saved. He said, I am you, you are me. It is inside of you. And they've been playing this trick on our grandparents, our parents, trying to make us wait for this invisible enemy for the rapture. Y2K, we were supposed to be taken out. The Mayan calendar, we're supposed to be taken out. We're all waiting for this guy to come down on a horse, a white horse to save us, guys. You're already saved. It's your actions, your behaviors, your discipline, your consistency done for a long enough period of time, managing the darkness inside of you to ascend to the light. Jesus was the master. He came back after 18 years and flipped the script on everybody. That's why they took him out, guys. And someone said to me, well, he came here to be taken out, to fulfill the mission. Of course, but somebody had to take him out. So if you wanted somebody to take you out, what would you do? You'd point out all the things that they're doing to manipulate humanity. What's happening right now? It's not your job to go out and, and figure out who's, who's going to Epstein Island and all this. That's not your job. Your job is to master the darkness inside of you, raise your consciousness as high as possible, understand that yes, there is darkness in all of us. And once you master the darkness in yourself, you become the master of your emotions, the master of your thoughts, your actions, your behaviors. You become the richest man or woman on earth. Crypto is not going to save you, but it's gonna give you a great opportunity to get that financial freedom, to do the things that you love, okay? I wanted to get on my soapbox for that because this has been happening in humanity over and over and over again. We're here to expand 
consciousness, not repeat it. Let me repeat that. We're here to expand consciousness, not repeat it. We are here to create. We're here to love. All things come from good. All things come from good. Anything that is evil is good disrupted. Anything that is evil is good that's been disrupted or defected. And all evil can come back to good. God is good all the time, every single day. <laughs> God did not create broken things. We created broken things. We try to go outside of the actual uh, law of nature and we try to beat God's plan. You're not going to beat it. So you don't have to worry about what all these evil people are doing. They're not going to beat God's plan. We win in the end. We win in the end. <laughs> Think about that. You're not going to beat God's plan. They're not going to beat God's plan. So why are you protesting and trying to expose an invisible enemy? That's their maker. That's what they created. They came from good too. They're good defected. And all of them come back to like the prodigal son. So I know you came here to hear about crypto, but if you want more of that type of information, check out my Refined Integrity channel. Uh, it's in the description of this YouTube thing. Uh, I go deeper into that. But Jamie Dimon, our dear friend here, Jamie Dimon, okay? So listen, listen to what he says. Yeah, he is so against Bitcoin. And it's it, you have to ask yourself, why though? Why? Why? Why, why, why? Now, Jamie Dimon's going to say some stuff. He's going to say, don't get involved, guys. He has plenty of money. He doesn't have to get involved in Bitcoin, guys. He has plenty of money. He has plenty of investments. It's a different game he's playing. Of course, he can say, I'm not going to get any exposure to Bitcoin, right? His banks are. His clients are. But listen to what he has to say, and let's narrate this and decipher what he's saying here. We pivot to a topic that I know I know you you find sort of laborious at this yeah. point. Uh, <laughs> That's a good good which, word, which is Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, this ETF was approved yeah. uh, just about a week ago now, yeah. and I think a lot of people are trying to understand what it ultimately means. Yeah. Uh, JP Morgan, I imagine uh, if you were a client of JP Morgan, you could call your broker and say, uh, get, "Get get me some of this ETF." Mm -hmm. uh, what are you telling what are you telling your brokers to tell them back when they make that call? Yeah. So this is an important thing. I re this is the last time I've ever talked about this in CNBC. Okay? <laughs> so help me God. <laughs> Blockchain is real. It's a technology. We use it. It's going to move money. It's going to move data. It's efficient. We've been talking. Okay. So that's our first signal. Blockchain is real. It's a technology, guys. Your world is moving to blockchain technology. And many of you who do not believe in cryptocurrency are going to be using cryptocurrency and you're not even going to know it. So blockchain is here to stay. They have JPM coin. They have their own Onyx. They have their own system. Okay. So we know blockchain is here to stay. Okay. Now let's go into the Bitcoin narrative. Talking about that for 12 years too, and it's very small. Okay. So I think we've wasted too many words in that. Cryptocurrencies, there are two types. There's a cryptocurrency which might actually do something. Think of a cryptocurrency as an embedded smart contract right. in it, and that we can use it to buy and sell real estate to move data. That may have value. The idea of tokenizing. Things. Tokenizing right. things that, that you do something with. And then okay, very important. He says to us, tokenization. Everything's going to be tokenized, family. Everything is going to be tokenized. And it's nothing to freak out about. It's an evolution of money, guys. We used to barter. And then we had paper currency. China created paper currency. And then we had gold backed currency. And then we traded coins. We had all these things. It's an evolution, guys. You can't have your kids sitting there on an iPad buying Roblox and think that we're going to stay in a fiat system. Guys, it, everything is changing. Everything is moving from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0, industrial to technical. You can drag your ass on sand all day. You're not going to stop this system from changing being an armchair quarterback. But what we have done is we know that all things are come from good, right? All things come from good. So we're using technology, social media, all these things for good. Zoom calls for good. We've expanded to 8,000 people worldwide in our academy because of technology. It's not that the technology is bad. It's the person that uses it that makes it inherently bad or good. Okay. Evil doesn't exist until you invite it into your life. All things start from goodness. Okay. Evil is just good defected. Then there's one which does nothing. I call it the pet rock, the Bitcoin or something like that. And so on the Bitcoin, you know, there's first, and I'm, I'm not trying to make a joke here. There are use cases, AML, fraud, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, sex trafficking. Those are real use cases. Okay. So now he, he just said the only use cases, did you hear what he said? Sex trafficking, AML, all these different things that he thinks that it's used for. Okay. But think about this. What just happened with the Jeffrey thing, right? That Jeffrey thing is basically they were funding that, guys. So, of course, they don't want Bitcoin. They say it's used for nefarious activities. Guys, it's on the blockchain. 
You can see it. It's clear. It has transparency. That's why they don't want it. It has absolute transparency. Of course you don't want that. So invert, just like Jesus did, invert what they're saying. Invert the teachings. They're saying, hey, listen, I, I am doing this. I am doing that, right? Invert the teachings. That's what I do. We're inverted. We come into this earth. Okay, we come from heaven. We come through the matrix, the womb, the woman into this earth to experience. It's inverted. Invert things to get back to heaven on earth. And you see it being used for hundreds, maybe 50, 100 billion dollars right. a year for that. That is the end use case. Everything else is people train among themselves. So, Speculate. You yeah. Now, okay. Now, my last statement, the last time I ever talk about Bitcoin is I defend your right to do Bitcoin. I think, you know, it's okay. okay. I don't want to tell you what to do. So my personal advice is you don't get involved. Right. But I don't want to tell any one of you what to do. It's a free country. What do you, make so, of, what do you make of that's black? Why okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. So he's saying, don't get involved. It's a free country. But let me ask you a question. Let's just get back on the screen here. Let me ask you a question. If you cared about me, so I run companies. I have a bunch, I have quite a few companies. We have seven that are active companies, nine companies that we own. I'm the CEO of two of them, okay? Um, two, two of my companies that own the other, of the other companies, right? I would never, ever say to my team, we operate with integrity, honesty, and uncompromising belief in God, okay? I would never say to my team, hey, listen, I don't believe in this evil company over here, but you guys can use them within our organization. You guys can, no, I would never say that. That is completely against my ethics and morals. If something is against my ethics and morals, I'm not going to have my companies involved in it. Absolutely not. So why would he do that? Why would he do that? If he doesn't believe in it so much as a CEO of JP Morgan, then, and he thinks it's totally, he thinks it's just used for all those nefarious things. And why, as an asset manager of one of the largest banks in the world, would you let your clients invest in it? Or is there a bigger picture? Okay, so now we know this, okay? We know this part. Now we need to really ask ourselves, are we properly using discernment as we're doing this, okay? So here's how I have mine set up. So one minute you're hearing it's nefarious, one minute you're hearing it's a flight to safety. So which one is it? We don't know what they're doing behind the scenes. So if you don't know what someone's doing behind the scenes, you have to develop a massive amount of discernment yourself. You have to develop a plan for yourself. And that plan, who cares what Bobby Joe is doing, Susie is doing, what do you want to do? So where are you currently at in your earned income? Is there a way you can earn more income? Yes, you can. If you can't increase your pay at your job, you can reduce your expenses. Create a budget. Every single one of you can reduce your expenses. Do you buy energy drinks every day? Cut it out. Drink coffee from home. There you go. There's three bucks a day. You times that by 10. That's 30 bucks. You times that by 20. That's 60 bucks. And you can put that into the capital markets. There's some of these cryptocurrencies that are pennies on the dollar. So don't tell me you don't have money to invest. You have priorities that are backwards. Okay. If you're driving a lifted truck with big rims on it and you got a boat and freaking ATVs, but you can barely pay your bills, and you don't have any money to invest, sell your boat, sell your lifted truck, humble yourself and make your family your priority. There you go. I just created earned income for you. After you create that earned income, there's a speculative asset that maybe you can do what I did. And I went into cryptocurrency. I got my I moved in with my parents in 2020. I humbled the shit out of myself. And I started to make money out of thin air by flipping vacuums, flipping couches on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I put every single dime because my parents supported me. I was so grateful that they helped me out with food and shelter. And I buckled down and I said, this will never happen again, ever. But I also got to see where my paradigm came from. There's no wealth in my family. There's no talk of wealth. There's no talk of investing. So if there's no talk or, of, of wealth in my family, then what do I need to do? that I needed to rewire my brain. So I started to study how money moves through the system. And I understood they're not doing our finances the way that we do. They don't go to school and get a job and get a 401k or a Roth IRA. You can't even have a Roth IRA if you make over 250,000 a year. So I was like, wait, there's a different system out there. Well, you want to get on the asset side of the system, not the liability side of the system. So cryptocurrency allows you an opportunity to get into a speculative asset to make a large amount of money in a short amount of time, not get rich quick. Think about the Dogecoin millionaire. He became a millionaire and then a thousandaire very quickly. He didn't pull any profits. So the number one thing that I do is I always pull my initial investment in crypto. Number two is right here. This is Merlin, the smartest way to track your crypto. I'm the co-founder and creator of this. We created this where you can set up your own exit plan. So we will send you an alert when you're close to your exit target. You have to have an exit plan. If you don't know what an exit plan is, download Merlin 30 days for free. There's tons of videos there. Shows you have to master an exit plan. 
because what goes up always comes down. Does the market always stay up, guys? No, it doesn't. Does it, has a market ever stayed up 100% of the time? That doesn't make it a market. <laughs> it has to go up and it has to go down. So why are you into investing? To make money, to secure your family, to have financial freedom. So when it goes up, you have to pull profits. But is it designed for you to win? Absolutely not. Is it designed for the mom and pa, the little, the little money in there to win? No, it's designed to pull your money out of your bank account to get you to leverage your money, just like the casino, and they're going to take all your money. That's why they give you free drinks at the casino because they know you think you're going to keep winning. You're not going to keep winning. So you have to have a game plan. As it goes up after the Bitcoin halving, about 90 days after that, you need to be pulling profits out. Okay, So I pull profits out of the market by using Merlin. Okay, Then I personally have all my max, or excuse me, I have my index universal life policies, my insurance policies. I insure my wealth. Most people insure their life. I have my life insured, but I also insure my wealth. So I max fund. I'm ready to max fund my index universal life policy. So within 12 to 24 months, my retirement is set, guys. So now the scarcity of money is gone. My retirement is set. My kids are set. My son is set. My daughter is set to retire with well over a million dollars by the time they're 62. And that's if they just do the baseline because I set them up early with their insurance. Okay, so now my kids are set. I'm set. So now scarcity of money is gone. Now I'm a tuning fork to money. It's a frequency. Okay. I have businesses. It's the quickest way to wealth. I have equity and uh, we have equity in nine companies. Seven are active. Two are in the seven figures. And we're bringing a third into the seven figures right now. One should hit the eight figure this year. I've worked my fucking ass off to build these businesses. I didn't F around. I lived on my parents' couch for almost 16 months. I went all in because I don't want to, I didn't want to be in that position ever again. I was done with that. Went all in and I learned how to be consistent, disciplined, and also how to be paid to be me. I built products and services that solve massive problems for humanity that I experience, and I'm able to help millions of people worldwide. We've helped over 8,000 people. We're going to help a million with Ed Milet's uh, leadership and connecting with him in the next year. Okay, You can do this too. This is why I'm so honest about my story. You can do this. Okay, From that point, oh, what happened? My computer just shut off. <clears throat> Whoa, trippy. Well, my computer just shut off. <laughs> we were rolling, man. Oh, no. Well, my computer just shut off right in the middle of my YouTube video. Oh, there we go. We're back. There we go. We're back. I don't know what happened, folks. Uh, man, I was in a flow state there. My computer just shut off. Too much energy vibration. Anyways, so from their business, right? And then I have precious metals. And then we're getting into real estate this year. So uh, real estate is for tax liabilities, um, the interest off the earned income, and the doors eventually, right? Okay, so that's my game plan. So what is your game plan? Just ask yourself. So there's no reason to get frustrated or feel that you're not ready for this. So the first thing that I would do is create a budget, okay? Sit down with your family, create a budget. Like, can you cut out frivolous spending? Absolutely, you can. Can you eat at home for three months, 90 days? Absolutely, you can. You could save hundreds and hundreds of dollars by humbling yourself, eating at home for 90 days, cutting out the Starbucks, cutting out the energy drinks, and you put that in the capital markets. When that goes up, you pull profits. When you pull profits, you put it in something that will compound or grow. And you repeat this process over and over again. But we have to start studying. You have to spend about 20 minutes a day educating yourself. And if you spend 20 minutes a day, I think it's 18 to 20 minutes a day, you'll be in the top 5% of expertise. So people like JV, how does this come so easy? I study this stuff nine hours a day. I study spirituality and finances and macroeconomics and microeconomics nine hours a day, every single day. I love helping people break free from the just over broke paradigm. Again, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay. So you guys hear me talk about being the richest man in the world. Here's why I'm the richest man in the world, okay? It's my relationship with God and Jesus Christ, and that's why I built my own ecosystem because nobody's going to tell me what to talk about or when to talk about it. When I was in corporate America, there's two things they told me not to talk about, government, politics, and God. Well, welcome to the world we live in. So guess what I do? I talk about government and I talk about God. And if you're on my team, you can talk about whatever you want. You can say what you mean. Just don't say it mean. Just have a belief system of something greater than you because you are not the creator. You got the opportunity to be a conduit for the creator. You got a great opportunity. So your thoughts right now are so important. The actions you take are so important. And most of all, the emotions that you control. And then God gave us a caveat, free will. So if you like this type of information, I have refined integrity. I started a whole new channel because, you know, people come here for crypto knowledge and 
macroeconomics. But I wanted to get this stuff off my chest for myself and to document my journey. Uh, it's called Refined Integrity. So if you type it in YouTube, you'll find it. It's it's um, it's offending a lot of people because the way I'm speaking about Jesus, I have a relationship with Jesus and God, a relationship, like a daily relationship. Jesus is my, I'm his running mate, man. We're hanging out all day, all day, every day. Say what you want. Jesus isn't, he's like, dude, these people are all waiting for a savior, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go save ourselves. <laughs> let's go be the light. Let's go be kind to people. Let's go be loving to people. And he's like, hey, there is no evil force to stop. It's you, JV. It's you. When you master the darkness in yourself and you raise your energy centers and you come up into the singular eye that Jesus talked about, you'll live heaven on earth. Your job is not to save other people. You are not their God. You are God's. They took out the S in God in the Bible because they didn't want us to know that we're made in the likeness and image of Jesus Christ. And we have the ability to act, to walk, to talk, and we have free will. His name isn't Jesus either. His name is Yeshua, Yeshua. J didn't even exist in the Bible when the Bible was written. So you have to ask yourself, why do you believe what you believe? God is real. Jesus Christ is real. The key word is Christ is real. I am you. You are me. We can fucking do this. We can do this. <laughs> nobody's stopping you. Trump isn't coming to save you. DeSantis isn't coming to save you. Biden's not going to save you. We might pay less taxes and have a better economy, but they're still not going to make you get up in the morning, get in an ice bath. They're not going to make you make good decisions. They're not going to stop you from lustfully texting that woman that you shouldn't be texting because you're married. Get your shit together. You need to get your shit together. <laughs> you need to get your shit together. They're not going to treat your wife properly. They're not going to make you exercise. They're not going to do any of that stuff for you. We've been waiting for an invisible savior repetitively over and over again. You got this. Jesus loves you. God loves you. And I love you. As we always say, warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go. Love you guys.